Hi guys and welcome to another 7 minute lecture. The genius of One Piece. I've been wanting to do this for a while because this is a work of fiction that's very close to my heart and also because when most people who aren't familiar with it hear that I'm a big fan, I always get a look of surprise from them. Uh, they just don't get it. I understand why. Because on the surface, it looks like a comic book for kids or a cartoon for kids if uh, they've only seen posters of the anime. And on the surface, they would be absolutely right. One Piece on the external level has all the markings of children's fiction. It's about a goofy main character who wants to travel around the world with his friends and become the greatest pirate in the world. It's a basic, clear premise. Even children can wrap their heads around However, it would be a big mistake to misinterpret this clarity for simplicity. One Piece is one of the most complex stories that you can read with characters and lessons that are enjoyable for all ages. It's a great example of world building, subtle philosophy, weaving in real life references into fiction and overall just a tremendous tale that's both entertaining and enriching for, for our understanding of the world and of maybe life itself. So what is it? It's a Japanese manga series. Manga is the Japanese equivalent of comic books. It's usually serialized and released on a weekly basis. It was created by Aichiro Oda, who is almost a god in Japan and enjoys real iconic status as a creator there. It's been running for over 20 years. It started in July 97, so next month is the 24th anniversary. There are just over a thousand chapters so far. It's an ongoing story. I think we're on chapter 1016 right now. So in terms of the scope and sweep of the story, this is as epic as it gets. It sold about 450 million copies all over the world and those are just the legal sales. Most international fans just read it online for free. I would say the actual number in terms of consumption is a lot closer to 700 or 800 million. To put that into context for Western audiences, the Batman comics have sold about 450 million copies as well. And the Batman comics have been selling since 1939 for, what, 81 years. And Batman has had uh, movies, TV shows, animated shows, video games, all kinds of merchandise to promote it for at least the last 50 of those 81 years. One Piece, despite being a product of the late 90s, is already on par with that in terms of official sales. So we are talking about a real global phenomenon here. The overall plot, as I was saying, is this. There's a kid called Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy, who wants to become the world's greatest pirate and find this legendary treasure called the One Piece. And on his travels, he meets various people, some of whom become his friends, his enemies, he saves some, he fights with some, blah, blah, blah. And what's great about this is that as Luffy's journey continues chapter by chapter, the layers start getting filled in one by one. And before you know it, what starts off as clearly a story for children becomes this complex adult story about world politics, suppressing history, racial prejudice, the power of friendship, all kinds of universal lessons. It's got a great moral complexity to it. Despicable villains whom you just want to strangle in early parts of the series become some of your favorite characters later on. The world building, as I mentioned earlier, is spectacular. There are hundreds of characters, over a thousand, if you include the minor ones as well, and they all feel unique. They all feel fresh and vibrant. Some of my all-time favorite characters in fiction are from One Piece. And because it's about Luffy and his friends traveling from country to country, sailing from place to place, the epic sweep really carries us along. Each country they visit has its own unique culture, geography, history. And as the story progresses, the history of the overall world is shaped up as well. And we find out that there's a big world government overseeing everything. And they have their own machinations. There's a lot of hidden history in this world that the government is suppressing. And they annihilate any country that comes close to finding these things out. There's a lot of interesting political intrigue in the story as the protagonists unravel this bit by bit. The comedy is amazing. There's slapstick humor, there are puns, there are feel-good moments, scenes that make you smile and scenes that make you laugh out loud as well. There's a lot of great action as you would expect in a battle manga. The artwork is fantastic. 
in fact many of the characters and places often have inspirations from the real world and oda always puts in something there to make us chuckle so for example there's one character with a long nose who likes to lie a lot i can do a 7 hour lecture on just the characters and their real world parallels and how expertly oda weaves them all in the moments of friendship between the characters are amazing the bond between these characters is done so well and we really feel like we're a part of luffy's crew traveling with them and fighting villains when they are happy we are happy when they are sad we are sad it's got a unique magic system as well where there are these things called devil fruits which bestow unique powers but they also come at a cost there are many different races in this world and the dynamic between them is really sort of complex and there's a lot of discrimination and hatred and ancient blood feuds and at no point does oda use any of this to just bludgeon us with moral preaching it's all done so organically it's one of the best examples i've i've seen of foreshadowing as well where some minor throwaway remark in chapter 200 turns out to be foreshadowing for a major plot twist in chapter 1000 where we go wow he hinted this 15 years ago the series i would say teaches you more about international relations the manipulation of history the eternal struggle uh, between liberty and fascism all of this than any textbook i've read i did a video a while ago on the importance of fiction on why fiction can teach us a lot more about the world than non fiction and one piece is a shining example of that and the biggest compliment i can pay the series overall is that everything i've said in this video is just scratching the surface there's so much more that i can talk to you about if i had more than 7 minutes i've introduced the series to many many people and not a single person who's caught up to the current chapter has said it wasn't worth it they all thank me to this day and hopefully i can add you to that list as well if you like this video please don't forget to share and subscribe thank you take care and i'll see you soon